This is CBS 4 News Tonight. First tonight, ready to march and send a message like never before. In Washington, Parkland, and around the world, the March for Our Lives is about to begin. Less than six weeks since the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High, the Never Again movement will take its biggest step yet. The students of Parkland certainly following through on their pledge to turn their anger into action and deliver perhaps the strongest message about gun control our nation has ever heard. We have team coverage now. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega is in Parkland. And we begin with Carrie Codd, live in our nation's capital. Carrie. Yes, Rick and Rudabay, the stage is set literally and figuratively for what organizers expect about a, several hundred thousand people to descend here on Pennsylvania Avenue tomorrow for this rally. People here are motivated to ask for change, demand change on gun control. They are also inspired by the students from South Florida who put all of this into motion. They're making their messages seen and heard. I firmly believe by myself and with my friends and this generation, we will change the world. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas students gathered all over Washington, D.C. Friday night, including at this sign making event sponsored by Rock the Vote and the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence. The students hope these signs and their sentiments spread around the country. Enough is enough. And, you know, everybody's had enough with these mass shootings, these school shootings, and they just need to stop. A much more somber event was held at the National Cathedral as they remembered the victims of gun violence, like Stoneman Douglas student Carmen Shentrup, who died in last month's violence. Her parents spoke and said Carmen was a straight-A student and a National Merit finalist, although the award came too late. Although Carmen never knew that. Her award letter arrived the day after she died. The lives lost, the dreams unfulfilled after the Parkland shooting motivated many to pour into our nation's capital for the March for Our Lives. Well, we just wanted to come and be a part of history. Christopher and Kendra Walsh from Broward brought their kids. Their son, Logan, will be a freshman at Stoneman Douglas next year. We should be confident when we send our kids to school, they're going to come home, and that it it's, should not be a partisan issue. The performers are here. Miley Cyrus showed her support for Stoneman Douglas students. Yes, I'll be a woman. Yes, I'll be a baby. So did BB Rexa and others like Lynn Manuel Miranda, who plans to perform Saturday. But this is about more than songs and music. These students want a ban on assault weapons used in most school shootings, restrictions on high capacity magazines, and major changes to background checks. Stoneman Douglas student Giancarlo Mendoza is hopeful all of that will happen. Um, it's definitely a blessing to see us all come together and fight through this and to see some sort of changes and our voices are actually being heard. And tomorrow their voices will be heard throughout the country. It's ironic that I ran into that last student Giancarlo Mendoza here tonight. He was one of the first students that I interviewed in the minutes after the shooting on the campus at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. He is a bright, compassionate young man, and he and many others feel empowered by pushing for gun control in the state of Florida. Now they want to take that push nationwide. The rally here starts at noon later here on Saturday. Live in Washington, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Kerry has been covering this story since the beginning.